Welcome to Living on a Prayer Flower Farm where we are learning as we grow in Zone 8B. In today's vlog, we are talking about my struggle to keep up with succession planting sunflowers. I am a sweaty mess. currently 6 a.m. and it's supposed to be really hot today it's supposed to be up to I think 102 with a heat index of 110 something like that it's gonna be really really hot and not safe to work in once we get near the afternoon forcing myself to eat breakfast because once I get outside I do not want to have to come back in until it's time to and we've got a lot of things to take care of today The place I'll be working in today has really high grass and weeds and hopefully having them tucked in like this will help keep ticks and bugs from clawing up my leg. These sunflowers were all used as a backdrop for some photographers so I'm very sad to see them go. And these, well, these were a white night that got overtaken by bugs. But this whole sunflower area needs to be redone today. It's going to be very sad to see these gone, but I need the space. And uh, I think the majority of them are done. <laughs> All right, y'all, while I work hard to remove the drip tape, rocks, and any hoops I might have left out, let me take this time to talk to you about Hysa. Hysa makes great footwear, waders, and other outdoor accessories. Hysa contacted me and asked if they could send me a pair of their women's mid-calf rubber garden boots, which of course, I was like, yes. I got them about three weeks ago and I have been wearing them everywhere, seeing how they feel on my feet, seeing how they hold up and so far guys i am a very happy customer the cushion inside the shoe is very comfortable i was really worried about how thick they were that they would cause my feet to sweat but they do not matter of fact these are so affordable these are 35 to 54 us dollars which is not bad Guys, be sure to use my link to go visit Hysa and use coupon code FARM15. By visiting their website from my link, they know that you came for me and it helps out the channel. It's nine o'clock in the morning now and it's just too hot to stay out here. But now it's time to retire inside and uh, cool down. It's Sunday, still haven't planted sunflowers, but I did get my compost, so we are going on a lake trip. Take the kids swimming. Yeah, priorities. Nothing like getting here early so that we don't have to worry about a huge crowd. The beach is pretty much empty, which is great. So now I'm gonna go jump in the water and worry about the farm, maybe this evening. <laughs> you know, I said this would be the year I wouldn't have gaps in my sunflower production that 
I was going to session plant. It's going to be epic. And uh, it's been two weeks since I tilled up that sunflower area. Haven't planted sunflowers. I decided it needed compost. Uh, I got compost and then it rained and then it's just been going to the market and everything else, guys. So uh, today, July 10th, we're finally planting sunflowers. So, <laughs> you know, you do what you can do, right? So you can see all the sunflowers over here are finally starting to bloom. These are all done pretty much. And then my area. I'm gonna have one month with no sunflowers. I don't use that time to take a break, I guess. But you know, oh well. Today we are planting oranges and reds, all those fun fall colors because it's July, which means I won't have sunflowers till September and October. And my wonderful husband will be helping me today with getting this kind of right down and planted. I broke my no work from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. rule today, but that's because today's one of the first cooler days we've gotten. It's cloudy, but all the sunflowers are planted. I'm gonna water these suckers in, and then I'm gonna go outside, drink way more water, and shower, because I, I'm sweating from everywhere. From everywhere, I'm sweating. I'd like to take this time to say a big thank you to both Young Lee and Colorado Tulips who both supported the channel via super thanks on some of my past videos. If you're enjoying this video, then be sure to check out one of my Farmer's Markets video. I'll go ahead and link one right here and I will see you there.